Hello and welcome to Windows Guide to DPSC McGarry as a hunter. Um, so pretty much what you want to do for this fight is there's three colored heads. Um, each head has a special ability that they will cast on you, which basically it's only the heads in the back of the room that will cast it. Um, right now there's a fire in the back. Um, every time you kill a various colored head though that colored head will appear in the back as well in addition so you can see I got cinders on me because the reds in the back um, basically how you deal with those mechanics is if you get cinders on you you just run around until it gets dispelled um, try to run away from the rest of the raid green what he'll do is he'll cast a venom explosion bomb and you just gotta make sure that when you see that venom circle on the ground you just uh, get away from it um, farther away you are the less damage you take blue will cast a frost beam and that you basically have to kite around try to kite away from the rest of the raid because it'll leave a frost order on the ground and that's, that's pretty much it as far as the mechanics go um, once you kill a head everyone just needs to go ahead and stack up uh, for the uh, rampage when they two heads come back up and you'll take a lot of damage and everything so as a hunter you can actually use the turns at that point as well to help mitigate some of the damage see that's the uh, venom explosion right there I don't remember the exact name of it I'm just calling it, call it a venom explosion <laughs> um, another thing I look out for is you don't want to go too far to the left or right because the dragons do breathe and you don't want to be caught in the breath it'll do a lot of damage to you you can see there's a venom explosion so just do your best to get away from it um, now how these mechanic the venom explosion basically all you can do with that one is just get away from it um, how the other mechanics work though is whenever you get dispelled you leave a little with cinders on you, you get a little uh, fire pole that's left on the ground. And what you want to do is, if there's a frost aura left from a the ice beam or whatever, you basically want to run through the frost aura while you have the cinders debuff. And if you do that, you will actually despawn the frost aura on the ground. Um, if you get, you obviously want to be dispelled, you'll need to be uh, healed massively while you're doing that, and you want to get dispelled immediately afterwards. If you get um, these fire pools on the ground, in order to get rid of those, what you want to do is whenever you get the frost beam being cast at you, you want to kite the frost beam over the, fro over the fire pools, and it will despawn the... Uh, fire pools so basically you use the blue deep or use the blue kiting thing to get rid of the red pools you use the red debuff to get rid of the blue aura frost um, we don't actually kill frost in this video so you actually won't get to see that mechanic but just be aware that's normally what you do how you normally do this encounter is you'll kill frost at some point and so you'll have to deal with frost, fire, and green. But otherwise, all you're doing is making sure you, if there's no frost or at down, just uh, like you see, I'm, I'm actually running over here. You just uh, make sure you kite the, or not really kite, but run away from everyone before it gets dispelled. And if you time it right, like I actually did right there, I saw that he had just cast breath, so I was able to actually run and put it to the, uh, kind of in where he normally does a fire breath. But normally you just want to run back or run away from where everyone else is. Only put it to the sides if you know for sure that you're not going to get hit by breath. So he's doing a rampage, so I do a uh, deflect. Or to turns rather. <laughs> um, overall, it's actually a pretty easy fight. 
I mean, essentially you're just killing one head, whatever head your raid's telling you to kill, stacking up for the uh, rampage, and then spreading back out. If you get either Frost Order on you, or the uh, the Frost Beam on you, or the Cinders, you're basically just running around from the re away from the rest of the raid um, as the main mechanic for that. And if you get the Venom Explosion, just make sure you run away from the uh, center of that as well. But aside from just pretty much just running away, if you get one of those three things, it's really just DPS to head. Um, one of the reasons you actually don't want to just zerg down only, um, like you don't want to zerg down frost, or I'm completely saying that wrong. <laughs> one of the reasons that you want to kill frost and not zerg, just zerg down the other two is basically you'll end up getting a lot more of that colored head in the back so you can see we've got a lot more of a uh, green in the back and everything and as a result we're gonna get a lot more venom explosion which means it's a lot more m massive AOE damage going out because more venom explosions means more people are getting damaged by that and that's just bad. And you can see we've got more cinders as well so because of that we're uh, more damage from the cinders so normally you want to kill all the heads pretty much equally so that you have the various mechanics equal and if we ever do kill frost hopefully um, I'll try to actually upload a video showing that as well so that you can actually see that mechanic but pretty much um, for a hunter anyways it's a fairly simple fight just DPS 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 a little bit of running around but not too much if you get cinders on you run away if you get beam on you, run away. If you have the venom explosion on the ground, run away from everyone else. <laughs> yeah, you can see we just have these chain venoms at this point. I'm actually having to deterrence this one so I can survive. We just barely kill it. Like, I think if we had had one more, we probably would have wiped. Yeah, you see, we got like five people up with hardly any health <laughs> but that's pretty much the fight so um hopefully this guide is helpful and you're able to kill it and yeah so alright so thanks for watching